I've showed you the parts of the window in the Outlook Web Access program. Let's look at how to send an email message. The first thing we want to do is make sure that the word message is in the new pop-up menu. I'll show you what else can be available there. If you want to create a new contact or distribution list or an appointment in your calendar, those kinds of things. But we want to make sure that we have message in there and then we're going to click new. The window that pops up is going to ask us a couple of questions and we need to make sure that we fill in some of these um, boxes in order for our email to go. The first one is who are we sending it to and I will just type from someone in the district what's really nice is I can just type in their last name first initial and the exchange server will pick up their email address. Now I should clarify if a person has um, an extra letter at the end of their name, for example, if, for example, if they have a last name, first initial, middle initial, you want to type all of that information. Um, but you don't have to type the at billings.k12 information. That's nice. I want to make sure I click in the subject bar and type in some type of subject and let's make sure we type it correctly. Just a, a bit of email etiquette at this point, and that is to send an email message without anything in the subject is considered very rude. And so even if you just put a one word descriptor uh, would be acceptable. However, in school district correspondence, Typically, we're talking about something that has to do with the business of education. So you should probably try to fill in as much as you can information in the subject line so that the person can be prepared for what the email is going to contain. That's just email etiquette. So I've clicked down in the body of my email message and now I'm going to type uh, a little bit of a message here. Once I've got my email message typed in, all I have to do is click send.